What is going on All Terrain Nation? Today we are at Supercell. This is going to be an upright video, kind of a real style, but uh, it's because that's what I'm being forced to do. But uh, I want to check out some stuff at Supercell. We're in the club section right now. You can see Midwest Broncos. All kinds of, ooh, look at the white top on that. That's pretty sweet. Check all this out. And I uh, wanted to show you guys what was going on here. We are at Tennessee Broncos, my home club. See their little banner there. And this is the club section they've really changed this year. So what's up, Jessica? They've changed this a lot this year. So they've pushed, <clears throat> the clubs are kind of towards the back of it now, which is nice because the vendors are out front. So uh, it gives vendors a little more, more exposure. But it gives the clubs so much more space. And uh, I, for one, like that a lot. All kinds of fun Broncos floating around here once again. Tennessee Broncos, my home club. Bronco Nation down there. I wonder if Mr. Jordan's down there. I bet, I bet we could find Mr. Jordan. But let's mosey on through. We got a we got a booth of our own to get to. Kind of want to just stream through here. This thing won't be super long. But all the Gen ones, man, you gotta love all these Gen one Broncos floating around here. Uh, I don't mind the Gen twos and, and the, the threes, but I I'm you know this is the classic design. This is the design they just decided when the refresh can or the bring the Gen six back. This is what they decided to do with it. So it looks cool. Look at that classic look. Duffy's Broncos, nice display. You do a lot of cool stuff with the older Broncos. <laughs> Big knobby tires on that thing. It's awesome. Let's see, we got there's some more just crazy colors on that. Love it. Uh, oh, cool. We can buy a, uh, buy a speaker system there. Maybe I need that. Quake is here this year. There's the first year for Quake being here, which is real nice. Uh, IAG way down there. I got to, I got to talk to old IAG. There's, I see, I see Kelly, but I mean, I can't hold this thing up high enough, but there's just, it's definitely the year of the gen six Broncos. So that's pretty cool. Mr. Allen with Diabolic over here, he's actually installing product. He People bought product from him and he's literally installing it for their Bronco right now, which is very cool. Very nice feature too. I don't think he's charging for that. Uh, well, we got classic people here. There's Kelly. We got Mark King. We got Mr. Craig. Do you know who he is now? Oh, you're gonna do that on a live stream. You're, you're gonna do that to me. I knew who Craig was, I just my words Hey, Kelly. Anyways, I love the little truck Broncos. Those are awesome. There's a uh, Rebecca over there. Let's see what Alan's talking about. So instead of doing spin knobs, which you can take these two top pieces off, most of the guys I'm doing it for are uh, off-roading, uh, camping, overlanding, they're, they're never going to take this off. So what we're going to do is we're going to do four carriage bolts. You see here. Added some stuff to Rebecca. Um, of course, we've got a tabletop. I haven't really talked much about this. This is a Tuffy Security Products sent this over for us to do a review on. Uh, so I got a review of this table coming, but Diabolical is putting all kinds of like stuff in mine. I can't, can't do it two-handed, but they've got, this is a, a roller roller rack that comes out and he's got a top for that so in case you want to tuck stuff under there you get your roller top up there which is really cool oh okay so we got little molly bags we've installed these molly panels this is something that uh is a uh, extra feature they do you can buy these uh i did rivets on them i think he i want to say you can use little screws too if you don't have a rivet gun that was real nice and it actually strengthens the top up even more so let's see if i can sh i can't shut it because i don't have two hands but um really cool feature of that let's see but Rebecca's a little dirty but there's the top of it there's the the basket of it I do like the fact and I've said this in the video I like the security hole they do so in case you need to get back there I don't know if you'd lock your keys whatever you know silly thing that I probably would do do but oh he's he's taking a basket out and he's put in uh 
put it in this. This is his new shade deal. And the cool thing about this is it actually gives you a little bit of shade. So, you know, where your, your visors don't, sometimes the, you know, all this top being open like this is great. But with this, the shade, it just gives you just a little bit more. So you're sitting there and it's not just, the sun's not directly in your eyes, which is really cool. But old Rebecca's, what is birds pooping on this? What's going on there? I don't know. Somebody's, somebody's pooping on it. IAG over there. I'm going to talk to those guys in a little bit. They've got their new Raptor there. And you guys know Code Orange. I, you, you know my feelings of Code Orange with the Ranger Raptor. It's probably the color I'm going to go to. But the Ranger Ra or the, the Bronco Raptor, there's too many. Hey, Ford, too many Raptors. Slow this down. But I really do love this color. It's Code Orange. Sometimes it looks red depending on the light. Uh, we got 3 twin turbo. A lot of fun there. Big fenders, you know. Everybody's been hit or miss on these. I, they still haven't grown on me, but I have seen them painted to match. It looks really cool. IEG's got a new step. Look at these steps they're doing for that. That is, that I like that step. Much improved over the Ford. Looks like it's still going to bolt into where the Ford step did. So that's really cool. Of course, you know, it's Raptor. Like, you got to enjoy a Raptor here, right? And uh, they've got some new products we're going to talk about, too, down the road. i got to find Mr. JJ and talk to him about it. But they uh, last year, I think they had, like, one or two Broncos out. It seems like they've got a bunch more. Nice display. Ooh, they got show sales going on, too. What's that? Show sale, 50% off on. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to have to check it out. Oh, they've got the new uh, the tailgate, like, for the, the – if you want to do 37s. They've got their new brace for that, which completely, when we talked to JJ, he didn't give us a ton of information about it, but it completely replaces, I think it hooks to the hinges somehow. Uh, I'm gonna have to talk to him about that. We've seen we've seen that last year, we've seen that Bronco. Uh, looks like they got their little two-door there. Nice display on this. Guys, I can't say enough. If you, uh, this is the place, if you have a Bronco, Especially the East Coast one. I, I think Wisconsin's going to grow into that. And the West Coast one in Colorado is more about taking these things out and using the parts that you buy. But if you are curious of what you might want to do to your Bronco, look, obviously we have ours on display here. This is the place to do it. You get a lot of ideas, some great, you know, some subpar, some, some just okay. But there's a lot of ideas here that you can do to your Bronco and uh, make it your own. So definitely check out Supercell. And, um... I'm going to leave this in, at that right now, and uh, we're going to check back. We're going to do a proper video, and uh, we'll check back with you all in a little bit. Peace. Well, I guess you got to put the bolts back in.